Hey guys, my name is Christy, and uh, I've decided to do the throughout the year thing because I'm a senior in high school and I'm going away to college in the fall. So I want to make sure that I can reminisce about things and get things into a clear perspective and stuff. And this is just a good way to do it, and hopefully it's entertaining for you. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I guess I'm starting with birth to preschool, so you guys can all know what's going on there. So I was born in California. I uh, lived here my whole life, actually. I haven't left the same town I was born in. Uh, kind of ridiculous, but it's it's cool, I guess. Um, and so uh, I lived on a cute little street, and my best friend happened to live next door because we were the same age, and uh, so I'd go over to her house all the time, and we were inseparable, pretty much, and her name was Taylor, and so I'd go over to her house, and we'd play dress up, and play with our Barbies, and uh, she had one of those uh, light bright things where you put in a little peg, and then you turn the light, and then it like makes a glowing figure, and those were always really fun. And I remember one time she got the Marvin's Magic Drawing Board, and we were so excited to play with it. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's just like a little uh, board about, you know, a foot long maybe, and like a little whiteboard type thing. But like, the bottom of it is multicolored, and then it has like a black gel on it. And then on top of the black gel is like a film to keep the gel inside, and you take, they give you a little brush thing, and you would, like, sweep it, and then it would push the gel aside and, a sh and show the, uh, the colors, and so it would, you'd be able to draw, like, multicolored things, and it was supposed to be really cool. It was on one of those infomercials. And then to erase it, you would just wipe it again, right, magically on the infomercial. But uh, because me and my friend were little, we couldn't wipe it away, <laughs> so, because we'd always press too hard, so we would just, like, make the color bigger. And so we'd always have to go to her mom and be like, will you please do this for us? So, yeah, that was fun. And uh, let's see. Uh, my favorite movie was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I would watch it all the time. Um, my mom made me a Snow White dress so I could dress up in, like, for fun and stuff. But once she made it, I don't think I ever took it off for, like, a year. <laughs> I wore it everywhere. We'd go to the mall to go shopping I'd wear. We'd go to the grocery store I'd wear it, um, yeah, I don't know how she got off, got it off me to even wash it, because I, that's what I wanted to wear every single day, um, and so me and Taylor, we would play Snow White, and, uh, I would always make her be either the queen, or the, one of those dwarves, or, like, uh, the Prince Charming, but, and I was always Snow White, because she was my favorite. And she wasn't her favorite, so uh, I deserved it or something. But, you know, she was a good friend. She always played it with me, but uh, with little complaint. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, and so one time I go in and ask my mom for an apple because I have to bite the apple so I can have the prince kiss me and wake me up and live happily ever after. So I get this apple, and my mom goes, okay, I'll let you eat it in your room, but when you're done with it, you need to throw the core away. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll throw the core away. And so I go into my room, and I'm, we're playing, and so Taylor hands me the apple, I bite it, and then it rolls away, and I collapse, and then she's Prince Charming and kisses me, and I wake up. But, um, then I realize, oh, wait, I'm not going to finish this apple. I don't actually want to eat an apple. Like, as a kid, who wants to eat something healthy? And so I decided, oh, I'll just hide it in my closet. My mom will never find it in my closet. Um... Yeah, I was a little kid, so I didn't really think that all the way through. She found the apple, and I didn't really get to play Snow White anymore, which was a bummer, but it was still fun. Um, then, let's see, preschool. I got to go to my other best friend's house for that, because her mom did a preschool out of her house. And uh, But every time I'd show up, and she was my other best friend, Leah, was a year older than me, so she would get to go to school, and I was always so jealous, because she got to wear a big girl backpack, and carry her stuff, and she got to go to a real classroom at a real school, and I was so, so, so jealous, but, um, I never could go with her, obviously, because I'm, I was too little, so I got to go to preschool, and, um, I remember one time there was, uh, we decided, oh, no, we read the gingerbread man story, where he gets made, and then he runs away, and no one can catch him, 
And so we make gingerbread, a big gingerbread man, like big. Well, it might not have been that big because I was little, so things seem bigger, but I don't know. It seemed really big to me. And then we made like other gingerbread shapes. And then we, so then we put them in the oven and then we went out to recess. And so we were, she had a trampoline in her backyard. So we'd jump on the trampoline and it was really, really fun. But then we come back inside and the gingerbread man ran away. Yeah, he ran. More like he just kind of disappeared, but it was, it was still really cool when I was a kid. I thought it was legit. Um, okay, so then another day I was getting picked up from preschool and um, I hop in the car and I go, oh my gosh, mom, I learned something today. And she's like, really, what'd you learn? And I said, today I learned that teachers are smarter than regular people. And she was like, oh, and why are teachers smarter than the regular people? Um, and I said, well, because they teach, they have to know more to teach us. And she goes, okay, teachers are smarter than regular people. Um, teachers are regular people? Well, most are regular people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get some of those freaky ones and not so regular anymore. But yeah, you catch my drift on that one. Uh, yeah, let's see, what else did I do? in preschool or before that. I don't know. I didn't like have any pets or anything. Um, our, I don't know. I was happy all the time. Oh, I was so talkative when I was a little kid. Really talkative. Well, I'm still talkative, but it was worse when I was a kid because I didn't have a filter because little kids just don't. And oh, and on top of that, I had a lisp. A nice big lisp. And my name is Christy. So whenever I said my name, you heard my lisp. So now, even to this day, whenever I say my name, I have to concentrate on it so that way I don't mess it up. I haven't messed it up in a long time, but mm, I still get this weird feeling that I'm going to mess it up and then everyone's going to laugh at me and be, oh my gosh, that girl has a lisp. You don't even talk to her. Um... But I don't anymore. Well, I hope I don't. I mean, maybe you can hear and I can't. But I guess you can just let me know. Like, comment below if I have a lisp. And no, actually don't. I don't want to know. That'll just make me upset. Um, so, yeah. That's me. Preschool to... Oh, birth to preschool. Um, yeah. So, I am done. Bye.